Hello, my dear cat lovers. This month marks a year since I started this video blog about cats. While preparing materials and reading comments, I realized that there are many different myths surrounding cats. That's why I decided to dedicate this anniversary video to debunking the 10 most commonly encountered myths about cats. 1. Cats always land on their feet painlessly. This is a half-truth. Indeed, cats have a built-in reflex that allows them to turn in the air if they fall on their backs. But does it always work? And does it save the cat when falling from a great height? It turns out the reflex doesn't always work. When falling from too low a height, like from a child's hands, a cat may not have time to flip over. And in the case of a very high fall, the shock effect can override the reflex. Additionally, even if a cat tries to slow down its fall through gliding, the impact force remains high, increasing the risk of injuries such as broken limbs, jaws, concussions, etc. Many cats do not survive falls, even from the third floor. Pain and injuries are inevitable in high falls. Two, cats heal themselves by licking wounds and eating the right grass outside. This is a myth from times when veterinary care didn't exist and cats still got sick. Those that survived without treatment were considered their own doctors, while those that died were not taken into account. Of course, most without treatment did not survive, but only the survivors were considered, leading to miraculous stories. In reality, cats are not capable of self-healing, except when the immune system overcomes the disease. Licking wounds is a cat instinct, but often it does more harm than good. For example, a cat may lick a small wound into a larger one. That's why even if a cat is injured or has undergone a minor surgery, a special collar is put on it temporarily to prevent licking and aid faster healing. 3. Cats attach themselves not to people but to the home. This is a half-truth. This information comes from a time when contact breeds of cats were not known, and cats primarily lived outside rather than in homes. Modern cats, for the most part, attach themselves to the owner although they may strongly experience moving to a new place. Experiments were conducted where cats were placed in an unfamiliar room alone and then with their owner. In the second case, most cats felt much more comfortable. This determined that, for most modern cats, the owner is still the base of safety, just like for dogs in similar experiments. 4. Cats and dogs are eternal enemies. Surprisingly, many still believe in this myth. In reality, with proper training, dogs and cats can get along perfectly. Often, they get along even better than two cats together. The key is that cats have a stronger intraspecies aggression than interspecies. A non-aggressive dog is not seen as a competitor for resources, unlike another cat who could compete for food, mates, and territory. That's why it's often easier to introduce a cat to a dog than to another cat. 5. Cats are solitary and unsocial animals. This myth was dispelled by ethologists who observed the behavior of wild cats. In places with abundant resources, Cats can form groups and raise offspring together, urban stray cats, for example. Additionally, there is a current trend in breeding social cat breeds that require the presence of another cat companion and may get bored or even depressed without one. So the saying that a cat walks by itself is a bit outdated. Many cats need the company of humans or other animals. 6. If a cat urinates on a person's belongings, it means she doesn't love that person. It's actually the opposite. Cats may mark their owner's belongings if they sense that the owner is upset with them. However, they do this not as retaliation, but to reconcile. In nature, cats mark the territory of another cat with whom they have strained relations to create a common scent. This shared scent helps cats identify who is part of their group and who is an outsider. While cats usually achieve scent mixing by rubbing against the same objects, they do the same with us by rubbing against us and our belongings. If there's a conflict within the group, they resort to marking with urine. Cats urinate on the same surface, mix scents, and become friends again. Cats also try to do the same when in a disagreement with their owner. They are surprised when the owner responds with more aggression, leading them to mark even more, thinking there wasn't enough scent for reconciliation. The owner becomes angrier and the cycle continues. 7. Cats can see in complete darkness. Cats see better in the dark than humans, but in total darkness, without any light. Cats, like humans, cannot see. Additionally, nature has balanced the advantages of night vision in cats by making their daytime vision much worse than that of humans. 8. You don't need to play with a cat. It lives on its own. This is not entirely true. If your cat lives in a private house and goes outside every day, its need for play as physical activity will be much lower than that of a cat living in a city apartment. Owners of urban adult cats should play with them for at least half an hour a day to expend energy, encourage movement, and prevent obesity. But play also serves another purpose. It builds a stronger psychological bond between the cat and the owner, strengthens mutual trust, and helps them understand each other. From this perspective, 
any cat needs the owner to spend time playing. Nine cats are afraid of water. Zoologists have concluded that most cats are not inherently afraid of water. They avoid bathing for other entirely justified reasons. One of them is that bathing is an imposed procedure. The cat genuinely doesn't understand why the owner forcibly puts it in the bathtub and washes it with synthetic shampoos with unpleasant perfumed additives. Cat's fur is coated with a special grease that protects hair from breakage, making it luxurious and shiny. Water removes this grease, worsening the condition of the fur. 10 cats purr only when happy. Yes, this is true in most cases. Cats often purr when they feel cozy and relaxed. However, don't rush to conclusions too quickly. Cats can also purr when they are injured, stressed, or feeling unwell. Some experts believe that cats purr as a self-soothing mechanism during periods of anxiety. In the wild, mother cats often purr to communicate with their kittens. If you enjoyed unraveling the mysteries of the cat world, give us a like, subscribe to our channel for more cat content, and share your mysterious cat stories in the comments. Until next time, may your days be filled with the soothing sounds of happy cat purring.